get everyone be Asian dad here how are you guys doing I hope you guys are feeling healthy and safe of this side of the camera doing all right now today we've got a very exciting one we're doing the unboxing and first impression of this Intel Nook 9 Pro that's right Pro it's also known as the quartz cannon now this is Intel's first workstation class of the Nook now Nook has been around for a little bit of time, which actually stands for Next Unit of Computing. So they've actually got a gaming version of this, which is called the Nook 9 Extreme. But this here I've got is the workstation class, which is built for professional and aimed at professionals as well too. So it's made to, which is what we like to do, see. So I first want to make a very big thank you to Intel for sending me this unit for review. After I've finished with this review, I will be sending it back. Now, I will be creating a second video after this one, which is more in depth about the review of this. So this is just about the first impression there. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Now, as always, I always have my trusty knife for this. So let's bring this out. So let's go for it now. I have, oh, now we've got a fair bit of packaging here. So, so let's slowly get through this. Oh. Now that was dangerous, don't ever do that. Always have it away from yourself. I nearly did the silly thing there and nearly took my own eye out from that. It wasn't that crazy class. Actually, let's have a look, what do we got here? We've got, oh, there we go, we've got that one down there. And then we got down, oh, we got, oh, wow, we got a fair bit of packaging. Got to get through, there we go. I'm just trying to find the words there we go. Okay, let's try and get through this now. Away from the body, guys. Away from the body. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Oh, hopefully, this is now open there. All right, let's give this a go. Now, I have not seen this thing, so this is going to be exciting. Now, this is about in a five liter chassis, so that's really brilliant. Oh, there we go. We actually got another box. They just sent me another box. I wasn't too sure what was in there. That's why I wanted to keep it all in order. So this is great stuff. Nice to see the box. So there we go. So let's have a look what's inside. Now let's look for the bottom part of this. Okay, here I think it comes right from this end here. So let me bring out my helper as always. There he is. There he is, my helper. Just to give us a little bit of angle so you guys can see what's happening here as well. So let's bring this back a little bit. So let's have a look. Oh, okay, so first off, of course, this is being a review unit. We've got uh, adapter. I think they're just helping me out with adapters here, just in case it was a different sort of model, which I do see we've got some different ones. So I'll definitely need to use this one here. I don't know if I actually send this with you directly, but this is just a review unit, so you can come with it. And so here we go. We've got the power adapter. This is definitely not in Australian format here for sure. I think this is an American format, uh, this power plug. That's hence why I've got one of these things. So thank you Intel for thinking about that, for sending this to me as well. So I've got some documentations. No one knows just for this way, but I'm just gonna leave it there because I can feel there's a C DVD there as well too. All right, let's slowly get this thing out. Okay, let's pull this baby out. This is actually not that big or heavy. Oh, that's really cool. And that's pretty much all there is in there. Anyway, so this is a very exciting sort of, I'm just move that away. This is a very exciting sort of computer because what the Nook does is you can actually swap in and out of parts very easily, as well as it's designed for uh, to actually take out the central unit which is the main board and the processor and then upgrade it later on when you can get kits to actually upgrade it so you can keep the rest of the stuff and just upgrade it very easily. So very good for businesses for sure. So have I got this in the right way? Yes, I have. So as you can see, this one here they've sent me. Now the Nook 9 Pro can come in an Intel i7 version or the Xeon, hence why it's for professional. So it is certificate for over 20 professional applications here, so which is great. So any range from your AutoCADs, all your CAD work, all the way through finance, computing, as well as 3D work or medical sort of type of applications. That's what this is designed for. Now, I really love this format. It feels really nice. Firstly, just going through the build quality. It feels really nice. You can see just got grills everywhere. So it's just purely grills. There, this is fantastic. So it's got a lot of airflow this on this thing here for sure. Now it's got a built-in 
power supply, which is great, hence why you don't have to have another adapter for this. Some of the other tiny or micro computers that I see, they actually have a separate adapter and it's quite large there. But this is as built in, which is really good there. And that's what I'm saying. So that's really nice. I really like the look of this thing here, for sure. Very nice wheel coil. Yeah, look at that. And now I can just straight away see inside here, I've got a quad roll here. Now I think it's this one here came with a quad roll P2200 in there. Now it has the capacity to be able to put in an eight inch graphics there, full size graphics. So that's kind of good. So you can put an other ones in here. It's just this one here I've got here, which is the P quad roll P2200 there. So I'm definitely gonna be doing some benchmarks on that for nice. Well, let's have a look at all the ports we've got here. Looking at the front, we have the power button, full size SD card reader, two 3.1 Gen 2 ports, and a headphone jack. It's got a very clean, simple, very professional look at the front. Looking at the rear of the computer, we have at the top here is the Kensington lock slot, so we can actually lock the computer up. We have then four USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. We have a HMI 2.0 port. Now this one is for the onboard graphics. If you're not using the discrete graphics, this one has a discrete graphics. You can see here, so that's the NVIDIA Quadro P2200. Now this one actually has four display ports, but if you've got a graphics card, then you'll be using this one here. If you don't have a graphics card, then you'll be using this HMI port. Then we've got two Thunderbolt 3 ports. We have the speaker jack here as well. And then we've got two RJ45 Ethernet gigabit ports as well, which is great. As you can see here, there's another empty PCI slot here. So you can put another IO card in there, or if you've actually got a graphics card that actually requires two slot height, you can actually put that in, which is more power graphics card. And of course, at the bottom is where you plug in the power, and that uses the normal free pong that you actually have for your desktop computers. All right, let's try and open this thing up. Now I do, looks like I might need a screwdriver for this. So luckily, I came prepared. I've got my good old screwdriver. Let's have a look at this, open this up here. Now, I'm just gonna undo these screws here. Let's have a look what we got. It's just two screws I can see. I don't see any other screws in those two there, so. Now, ah, it's one of these nice cool screws that you can't lose, so it's great to see. So you undo them, and the top part of the screw is unfreaded, so it will stay there and then you can actually pop them out and then you won't lose it now. Now, let's try and see it open it up. Okay, there we go. So you just pull it back towards the back rear end and then you'll be able to open this up. So I can straight away see two, I think they're 80 mil fans there, two 80 mil fans, actually quite thin to the 80 mil fans, which is quite nice, very nice and compact. Definitely this whole entire build feels not bad, really good build quality. That's aluminium, that's not plastic. That's aluminium there, so that's kind of nice. So that's the top part of it. So let's just move this around and I'm gonna try and slowly, oh, okay, straight away. You can pretty much just lift this out. That's one side. You can see that's, that's a nice mesh groove there. And then I'll just lift the other side out. You can see that's pretty easy to lift that out there as well too. So let's have a look. Now, I'm just gonna see if there's any other screws I need to do. I think that was the only two screws I really need to do. Yeah, okay, so we've got uh, the power supply has enough power cables there for other bigger cards, which is great. So that's good to see. And of course the quadro card. Now this is what I'm really interested in is this unit. So if I unscrew this point here, it's back end, sorry, this back end here, and I might be able to show you what this means by this next unit of computering is you can get kits. Now I'm just gonna hopefully this is just one screw I need to do. Let me sort of get a good grip of this here. Right, there we go. And I might just grab that out. Let's see, I okay. have, this is the first time I'm actually doing this. I'm just hoping this is the way to do it. Oh, there's also another, you need to undo it just like a novel, like a graphics card. There's a little pin, safety pin, stop it from moving. And you can just, oh, here we go. It's just coming out now. All right, and I've got two cables here for power. Unplug that one there. And there's another one clipped there, which is probably for the power. Sorry, I'm here, right, here we go. 
hopefully I'll get it out here. I've just got just uh, I might just grab the graphics card out. It might be easier when I just get the graphics card out. I was trying to do without the graphics card. So just taking the graphics card out there. So that's a nice single slot quad roll. All right, and then this will make this one a lot easier for me just to bring this up. That's the back end of it. All right, here we go. Sorry, it took so long, but this, it looks like a graphics card, doesn't it? But this is the main board with the CPU processor in there. And this here, you can then just upgrade, you can buy a kit to upgrade this later on when they do produce faster processor, because there's always a lot of, in case the processor needs a new socket, you can make quickly change that up, because of course this is Intel, they will have that very quickly for it. So it's really nice to see. So this one's got a Xeon processor in here, which is fantastic, and you can pretty much slot this in. Now I want to try and bring, take out, I'm just going to disassemble this casing here as well. So I'm just going to have a quick look if I can do this without doing unscrewing any of the screws here. It looks like I may have to take the screws out for this. I think I may have to bring out the screws for this, but I just want to have a look at anything else. I think I might have to bring out the screws. In a moment, I'll do that in a moment for that. But I can definitely just have a quick look inside here. Is it's just got a nice more heat sink there. It's just a very good build quality computer here for sure. I can see there's another USB. It's sitting inside there as well too. So I'm gonna have a look at what that is for, uh, which is really cool. But let's. I think I might have to slowly undo this. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get the good old screwdriver out and really disassemble this. Thing here because we're going to try and find where, what, how to actually access the RAM slot there. Uh, we can go a maximum capacity of 64 gigs of RAM of course and of course being a Xeon it will be ECC RAM for the Xeon and then the i7 will be non-EEC RAM of course and of course we want the EEC RAM for the good old stability for a lot of these mission critical softwares that you professionals are running. So. I can see there's four nice little screws on the back. That's what I'm doing, just undoing them. And hopefully this will then allow me to take the casing off. I can feel the casing. Oh, and there's a, sorry, another fifth one up on top. I'll just take that out. All right, so that's nice. And this, that's very easy to pull off straight away though. So that was held in by those ones there. Now I've got another cable here, straight here as well. So I can just, uh, do that and I can definitely see there are heat sinks on this side here and straight away right there is the two RAM slots so you need to take the casing off to actually upgrade the RAM slots and then on the left hand side here is the SSD card which is the M.2 format here so you can take in one I can see a second one as well so you can take in two slots of M.2 forms there is there a third one there? No, I only see two there. So two RAM slot, so DIMM slots, and two M.2 slots there for SSD hard drives, which is great. So you can still put a fair bit, and I think you can do RAID 1 and RAID 0 as well on that for the SSD, fantastic there. And underneath here, that's just the heatsink for the solid state, which is great. Quickly, just hidden away underneath the bottom part of this, there is another slot for M.2. I just found it was just actually heat sink. So you just got to take the two screws off and then you'll be able to access that heat sink away. And there's actually another slot on this. I would probably say this is a daughter board, what we would usually call a daughter, but this, this is the main board part of it in a way. So that is pretty cool. And there, so there's another slot there for the M.2 format SSD hard drive there. So that's great. And these actually, as you can see, We've got uh, these thermal tapes here, and they haven't been used because we currently don't have any. And that would be the same on this side. The ones that haven't been used, Intel have already put, pre-put the thermal tape there, and they haven't actually taken off the plastic seal there, so you can actually put it in and 
that we just have a good contact so you don't need to buy thermal tank so that's good on you intel for thinking about that for your clients there fantastic there just to let you guys know as i'm reassembling this computer back together again i did read the instruction guide to it and there is a better way to access a lot of these components there and i will cover that in the review video much much about it so definitely nice quality there but i definitely so do come check me back when i am going to do the review of this computer properly this is just the disassemble i've just got the big mess here at the moment so i will have to slowly put this together back again but you can see it is pretty easy to uh, well once you slowly take it apart you can actually upgrade this which is fantastic but it's just nice in a, such a small form i've got to say this is such a small form for a workstation here for sure so definitely it's nice to sit there and then you don't and then just a normal cable for your computer cable so fantastic so i'm excited to actually do the benchmarks for this computer here as well as how does it go so definitely if you find this video informative and enjoyed it give it a like and if you haven't done already subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button bottom screen i do try to upload a new video every week and just remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting i'll see you next video